Hey guys, this is a review of the HP Spectre. And this laptop was designed by HP and Microsoft. Microsoft actually helped HP design this beautiful laptop. Now, let's just go over the looks of it. It's made of aluminum. I think it's unibody aluminum. On the side material is a little different than the top material here. The side material is more of like this chrome, shiny chrome accented um, metal. It looks beautiful. And the ports, there's an HDMI port, there's two, my, and two USB ports, and there's a headphone jack. And here is actually this one is a power button. And that one is a volume button. And they're all made of metal and they're super tactile and clicky. And let's go over to the other side and we find the char charging port. Another USB port and the power button. Another one. And that's a micro SD card. I mean SD card slot, sorry. And let's go to the back. And I love the look of the back because it's so beautiful. And it has that Hewlett Packard logo. And also it looks just really nice. It has that round edges, so and this computer itself is overall really thin, so I like it. No, it's not thinner than the MacBooks, MacBook Air, but it's thinner than the MacBook Pro for sure. So it's really good. So if we open it up, we get this gorgeous 13.3 1080p display. And it's gorgeous. And it also it's touch screen, so that's a nice touch. You get it? And it's just as powerful as a MacBook. It has it actually has the newest version of Intel processor, the Skylake, and it's Core i7 for the base model. And this is the base model, by the way. So, and it's really powerful. Everything just goes runs smoothly. Even browsing is perfect. Um, even gaming is pretty smooth. I actually play some Minecraft, and it's really really smooth. Um, and the keyboard here is really interesting because it's not those MacBook keyboards which are super clean and just it just presses. This one is more of a very soft. I don't know how to describe it, like a soft keyboard, and it feels nice, but it's a little different. But it feels really nice, and that it's definitely not like the ones that are on the MacBook. Super thin so that you can't even feel it. Now this lighting up thing is the backlit keyboard thing. Now, however, if you turn it off, it always lights up, which might bug you, but for me, it was fine. Now, this computer runs on Windows 10, which is really smooth. Um, it's really, I actually like this better than the Windows 7, and I am glad Microsoft changed it from Windows 8 to Windows 10. Now, let, let me talk about this hinge. This is a really special hinge. This hinge is so strong that it can make it go 900, 360 rotate degrees rotatable. It also can be 180 degrees like this. But let me just show you how it looks like in 360 degrees. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's go. Let's get back on. So this is it. I've rotated it, and they also say, said that you can use this as a tablet if you fully go back. And now I wouldn't say it's a tablet because it's so heavy, N not so heavy, but it's pretty heavy for a tablet, but it's fine. So let me bring it back. There you go. Okay, so it's back on. Oh, and I forgot to talk about the trackpad. The trackpad is, here is really good. As you can see, it's huge. And it's almost like a MacBook trackpad. Why? Because if you use two fingers, if you use two fingers, you can slide up and down. Almost like a MacBook. 
and it's big. It's one of the best Windows trackpad in the world, <laughs> and it's really good. Now let's move on to the speaker. The speaker is made by this company. I don't know how to read it, and the speaker placement is not very good. It's right here, right there, right there, and right there. Now it's it's re it's back it's down facing and it's only dual facing dual speakers so i mean i can deal with it but it's pretty quiet and the sound itself is pretty clear but i would prefer a louder speaker now that was a whole review of the hp spectre right there spectre now i believe that this cost about a thousand dollars thousand one hundred dollars i don't remember but you can buy it, you can pick this up right now at Best Buy. And there's also this beautiful gold and black version. And that one actually costs $100 extra because, just cause of the color. But this is just as good. Um, it just as beautiful too. And it, I, I think this is the most beautiful Windows laptop I've ever seen. So good job, Hewlett Packard. Um, and that was a full review, and I hope you enjoy it, and please subscribe to my channel and give this a big thumbs up, and check my other videos out too. Okay, bye.